Samsung recently unveiled the Galaxy S9 in the Philippines, and it claims to have the best camera in the market. Now, we have two another great smartphones to test out the cameras. But first, the spec sheet. The first one is an indoor shot highlighting the wall and the decorations. The two Samsung shots look exactly alike on this one and are very color accurate. But when you look closely, the wood on the sides are darker on the Note 8. Yet the flowers, the wooden decoration, and the wall with artificial leaves are the same with the S9. While the 5T shot looks darker and has more contrast, it also has the sharpest photo of the three. The wooden decoration on the table looked a little orangey and there's a spot on the center that is two times darker than the sides. The flower on both sides also look too much darker compared to the Samsung shots, to the point that it looks unnatural. Same with the preview shots, both the Samsung phones look alike in color and clarity. There's a huge difference between the Samsung shots and the OnePlus. The shot from the 5D is more saturated than the Samsung phones. The 5D shot leaned on to a more orangey look. Though the S9 and the Note 8 shots are the most color accurate, I like the OnePlus edgy look in this one. But the S9 shot depicted closest to the real life scenario. For this one, the S9 shot looks the brightest, followed by the 5D, then the Note 8. The wall on the Note 8 leaned on to a more red brown look, unlike the cream brown feel of the S9 and the 5D. Also, when you take a closer look at the tables, the table on the OnePlus 5D looks paler than the other two. However, the red and blue hues on the painting appears to be stronger on the 5D. The first outdoor shot focuses on the tree. The leaves on the Note 8 is the darkest, then the 5D. Same with the preview shots, the brightest result is the S9s. As for the sky, all three shots are identical. Even the building protruding at the back looks identical as well. It's actually pretty hard to see any difference at all. But if you take a few seconds just staring at the sides of the gazebo, you will notice that the plants are greener and lighter on the S9. And the plants on both the Note 8 and 5D are much darker. At first glance, it would seem like these shots are the same. But the swimming pool is darkest on the Note 8, and the sky looks brighter on the OnePlus shot. Also, the tree on the Note 8 looks a bit yellowish, and the trees on the S9 and 5Ds are pretty the same. In terms of clarity, see for yourselves. The most bluish shot goes to the Note 8, while the OnePlus shot leaned on to a bit yellowish blue feel. As usual, the S9 shot looks more color accurate than the other two. These three smartphones delivered great looking photos with bokeh effect. Though there are small visible smudges on the OnePlus, but still being able to produce a decent bokeh result. Both the Samsung phones on the other hand separate the subject from the background well, and the Note 8 having the most blurred background of all three. The night shot of the S9 and 5D looks similar. On the other hand, the sky on the Note 8 looks a bit reddish. Green are visible on all three shots, but the S9 shot looks the best on this one in our opinion. In our first selfie shots, the selfie taken using the S9 looks more natural and color balanced. While the Note 8 shot looks faded, even the green leaves at the back looks whitish. On the other hand, the OnePlus 5T shot looks like it has been post-processed already, since the contrast seems a bit too high. Also, the hair on the 5T looks darker compared to the other two. The portrait mode on these shots were turned on. The S9's bokeh effect doesn't look artificial at all. Also, the color still looks more natural than the other two. Same with the first Note 8 selfie, this shot looks a bit faded and the bokeh effect is pretty strong on this one. Same as the preview shots, the 5D delivered the darkest output. 
even the hair looks more dark brown and the plants at the back looks green. Here's another selfie. Which do you like the most? This nighttime shot is much clearer on the S9, not sacrificing some facial details nor overcompensating. The selfie shot from the Note 8 looks faded and brightest, while the 5T shot is the darkest. All handsets are capable of recording up to 4K resolution at 30 frames per second. Also, the Samsung S9 can shoot amazing super slow-mo videos. After laying out the results on all three, which flagship spec camera smartphone is the best for you? Price greatly varies with the three, but are you getting the result that you paid for? Comment down below what you think. Like if you love the video and subscribe if you want to see more. This has been Rain of Manila Shaker. Thank you for watching.